What's up you guys and welcome back to another reddit reading video. So today we're gonna be doing a sub that we don't usually cover. I mean we've done maybe like five or six with the robot voice but never with my own. So we're just gonna see how this does. I did buy a brand new mic just to do these commentary videos. Let me just let me just show you guys. This is the mic. It's beautiful right? Yes, but it's sitting inside her drawer. If I put it on the desk for some reason, it makes this weird, like, echoey noise. I don't know why. You know, I always gotta have that. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, I have one junkie door. What are you gonna do about it? But today we're gonna be doing Ask Reddit. And usually we don't do these, but this one is actually one with a bunch of stories in it. It's about business owners of Reddit. What's the most obnoxious reason an employee quit slash had to be fired over? We had a young IT intern helping with some hardware inventory tasks. It was uncommon for laptops not to make it back to us as projects would hoard them for terminated employees. But one day we noticed his backpack open and a laptop of the model we used sticking out. Sent him to the other side of the building and checked his serial number and yep, it was the one he reported as missing during a recent inventory. Opportunistic theft is one thing, but bringing it back into the office every day, just wow. <laughs> yeah, this guy is stupid. If you're gonna steal, at least don't bring it back to the scene of the crime. Come on, man. I've watched too many cartoons to go back to the scene of the crime. Opportunistic theft made me think of this one real dumb kid. I worked at an electronics store that rhymes with <laughs> blessed high. On her old register system, a kid figured out that you could give discounts to a certain percent based on the item and price without a manager. So he started discounting things for his friends. You're probably thinking, oh, I'd love to have a friend discount a TV for me. Nope, that's not what he'd do. He'd do candy bars, PC games, movies. What he'd do is he'd search for the discounts and our point of sale recorded every change for attempt change to a transaction. So what you'd see is Discount 30% override required. Cancelled. Discount 25% accepted. Discount 25% override required. Cancelled. Discount 20% accepted. Discount 15% accepted. Discount 10% accepted. Discount 10% override required. Cancelled. In the end, he ended up giving people 40 to 70% off whatever it was they were buying, but it was all stupid pity junk. I think the largest discount got around like $30. We still had to fire him. Yeah, this guy is dumb. If he's gonna get fired for doing discounts, I would get myself a 4K OLED LG TV, get myself a whole new PC and monitors and all that good stuff. But then again, he said it was a kid, so he might have been like 16, 17. They probably didn't have money for all that stuff. My dad and I ran a business together cleaning out foreclosed homes for a real estate agency as I was finishing high school. I was a senior so I got out of lunch at the time we could usually get a house done in a half a day. Sometimes we'd get some bad ones and we had a few guys I would call to see if they wanted to make a quick hundred bucks for our day's work. On my literal last day of class, my dad picked me up for our usual guys and got one house about 90% of the way done by lunch. He was a pretty normal guy that had never had any trouble with him. The guy we paid to help, my dad went out to the truck and came back into our house with a gun and robbed my dad of his wallet and took his keys and left in our truck. Funny thing is, my dad only had the cash he was about to give him an hour later for finishing up the house. The state police got the guy's number from us and they told him some bogus story about how my dad was being investigated for not paying his workers and if he met with them with the truck, they would get a statement and let him go. Idiot pulls up and gets arrested on the spot. He got eight years in prison. He really, really got eight years in prison for stealing money he was already gonna get an hour later. What? <laughs> what an idiot. I had a subcontractor on my job for a company to try and convenience the client that they should dump me and go with their business and they would undercut me by 10%. Learn this from the client who we asked to find another person to service our contract. My parents got a quote from some plumbing work they needed once from a chain company, roto Rooter, I think, and they quoted some enormous fee in the high thousands. Then, eventually, while one is talking to my mother and the other guy is talking to my father in a different area of the property, they each mentions they run their own side businesses and they can do the work for way less. I still wonder if they knew they were trying to undercut each other as well as trying to undercut their employer. My parents went with someone else. Well, they got, <laughs> they got two idiots at the same time. What the heck? My employee had a corporate card, charged a vacation, purse, fossil watch, takeout, along with overall being miserable to work with. Had laptop stolen within weeks of joining, fired her, and a few days later, a watch catalog from fossil showed up at the office with her name on it. Have active court cases for all the theft. What? Why would she? I don't even understand that. <laughs> Not a business owner, but at a previous job, we had issues with food being stolen from the break room bridge. The company made a big stink about it and it kept happening, so they were very obviously installed security cameras in the break room. Like big freaking cameras in plain sight, pointing at the fridge with our bosses being very direct about, there is a camera, you really want to lose your job over eating someone's sandwich? A few days later, guy gets fired for stealing food, literally on camera, just grabbing people's lunch out of the fridge and eating it. But I don't understand these people, why are, who, you know, this happened to me a few times too. I was working at Walmart when I was, uh, I think I was what, 17 or something like that. I was working at Walmart and 
people who just steal food all the time and they put a camera it was a fake camera in the break room because apparently they couldn't have real cameras in there i don't know why good there's a freaking break room thief at every job site in america and I think they should be held down and have gallons of milk of magnesia poured down their throats. Oh my god, if you don't know what that is, I'm pretty sure that's the stuff that makes you poop when you're constipated. That guy had meth diarrhea. <laughs> my dad owned his own business working as a color corrector slash editor. He had this one employee who had been there since day one and ended up becoming similar to an assistant manager. My dad owned the company for 10 plus years and just recently he had to fire the assistant manager because apparently he was telling employees and the customers that my dad hates gays. People who aren't white, his kids, his whole family, that he's a terrible person, etc. Basically driving all business away, pushing my dad's company towards bankruptcy. Turns out he was a narcissist psychopath. My dad's just sad his employee never trusted him enough to go tell him about what this guy would say to them. Yeah, that sucks. To be fair, I probably wouldn't be snitching unless like that was the boss was like actually my friend. But I don't if I went to the boss and I was saying all that stuff, I mean, I'm not getting into that. <laughs> I'm not a business owner, but I'm a student manager, aka I don't really have the ability to fire someone, but I had to in this case. This one kid was trouble to say the least, and I asked him to go check the bathroom to make sure there was clean, stock. When he asked about the woman's room, I said just knock and make sure nobody's inside. Apparently he banged on the door and screamed in his deep voice, WHO IN HERE? EVERYBODY GET OUT! He then entered the bathroom where a poor elderly woman was inside the stall, and continued to bang on the stall yelling, GET OUT! He was yelling so loud that I actually heard him and went to investigate. The poor woman was whimpering and calling the police, and he was just kind of person that had no idea how he came across. There was many weird issues but this obviously topped the cake and told him he was done and needed to go home. The poor old lady was so upset that she refused to leave the bathroom and had to call her son for her. Oh that's sad and it's it's hilarious and sad at the same time because like I could just see that happening. Some psycho kid banging on the door and poor old lady. He's probably like oh my god get me out of here. I used to do some consulting work and hired a woman to help me out, mostly clerical stuff and whatnot. I flew down to St. Thomas for a meeting and got a call from Sonitrol at 10.30pm. She had keys to my building but I didn't know about the alarm. Basically, she and her boyfriend brought another couple down to have a foursome in one of my offices. I had converted to a bedroom where I could crash if I worked late. So I called her, she answered mid-coitus and acted normal, albeit a little bit tipsy. I talked to her a few mundane details I needed to relate to her anyways and then mentioned to make sure she was only the office between 7 and 7 since there was a silent alarm that would call me with audio activities in the building. When I got back in town, her keys were sitting on my desk. Don't own a business, but I work on employee claims and lawsuits. I told this story on here before. A guy filed a discrimination complaint against a company after he got fired for stealing hot dogs from a refrigerator. This warehouse, big company, this was not my location, kept a stock of hot dogs for employee appreciation picnics, usually weekly cookouts. No one knew why they were disappearing, so announcements were made and all employees were asked not to eat the hot dogs, and if they wanted some, they could have asked, but couldn't have several packs. That didn't work, so warnings were announced. Finally, a camera was installed in the refrigerator and he got caught red-handed. He was just practically inhaling the hot dog directly from the refrigerator by the packs. He was fired, he filed a discrimination claim on basis of disability due to his weight. I sent him the response with a video of him eating the hot dog. Also, he couldn't prove his weight was a disability under the ADA. And weight is not a protected class, we won that claim. Well, yeah, good thing. I, <laughs> what? You can't weight a disability? Yeah, but you can, that doesn't mean you can steal people's stuff because of your weight. <laughs> I know today's video is actually going to be really, really short compared to other videos that we've done. But I got to take my dog to the vet. <laughs> She's not doing good. She actually got attacked by another dog. And it was really bad. I have a miniature schnauzer. She was attacked and mauled and it's extremely bad. Her surgery was okay, but her wounds are ripping open now. So yeah, not to put that sad part in the video, but thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Ask Reddit. If you don't want me to do Ask Reddit, tell me. If you do, then tell me. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to do 1,000 by the end of June. You can also follow the Reddit Reading Instagram account if you want. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.